or something. Okay. And, uh, maybe inquire a shop that would have such things. Okay. Um, let me pull up my documents. You have already done this before. Do you want to go mm -hmm. to someone we talked to last time? Uh, I guess it depends if, if their inventory has been recycled or not. If they would have possibly gotten some of that stuff in. I mean, if you're going to like an alchemist, then yes, of course. Okay. But yeah, magic I'll, vendors, you never really know. I'll uh, I'll head to uh, alchemist, I suppose. Okay, do so you go to Anduin? Yeah. You go visit your boy Anduin again? Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Anduin. So, it's me, it's your boy, Anduin, <laughs> of Alluring Alchemicals. Uh, as I What's said, What's another he's, great alchemical deal here for you? He's a pretty young guy, mm -hmm. human, blonde hair, pretty smart, and he's not a racist, which you like a lot about him. You see, he was pretty friendly to you. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's why I'm a, uh, that's why I'm a uh, customer for life. That's right. That's right. He knows customer service. Yep, yep. So you walk in, and he's just completing a deal with somebody. Um, you wait a moment or two, and he eventually gets to you and says, Oh! How's it going? I don't remember your name, but I remember your face. It's easy to remember a dwarf in these parts, huh? That's right. Don't see too many dwarves around here, but happy for your business. What can I do for you? Well, name's Orsic. Well, uh, uh, you know, I, I may be in need of a, a potion or two or so. Uh huh. So, I'm wondering what kind of healing potions you got today. Well, it just so happens that you caught me on my finisher. Day, we call it. Potions are often sold quickly, and I just finished mine. Fresh batch, just for you. I'm trying to remember the prices on those potions of healing. Uh, what did I spend? Two hundred gold on that superior. Think so. I'm gonna double check though. Mm. The potions. I think, which one did you pay 200 gold for? Uh, superior. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, let me see. What kind of potion are you looking for exactly? I have a number of interesting potions. Potion of healing, are you looking for? Or perhaps invisibility? Hmm. Well, I definitely need a potion of uh, healing. You got any uh, superior healing potions? That I do. I have two on hand at the moment. Hmm. Those run you 200 gold apiece, but if you happen to use one uh, that I sold you already, you know they're potent and effective. Indeed they are. Is this, is this where I got mine? I forget. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, what other sorts of potions do you have aside from healing? 
Got any, uh... Uh, yes, uh... Potions of sharp going, my blades? Going quickly, but I have a few outside of potions of healing. I have four potions of healing currently on hand. Potion of invisibility. Um... And... Potion of... Where is it? Diminution. Divination? Nope. Diminution. Oh, diminution. What oh. does that do? Um, it... Yeah. Anyone who imbibes this potion will be reduced incredibly in size. And I don't think you need that, my friend. But it I could be one used chuckle. on someone else. If mm -hmm. you were going could you just dump it on them? No. It must be imbibed. Oh, okay. But you could do it forcefully, or I would I would never hmm. just say it. Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll just uh, take you up on uh, two of those superior healing potions. Those sound delicious. And I'm a thirsty Excellent. man. 400 gold it is. Okay. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give him 400 gold. Cool. Subtract 400 so gold and add two superior healing potions. All right. Well, you have a good day, sir. I'm on my way. Farewell, traveler. Be safe. And if you're not, drink one of my potions. Let me see this. Um. Okay. I'll head to a magic shop next. I may okay. want to also see what kind of scrolls. Or weapons someone might have. At this point, I'm probably not gonna buy a weapon. Okay. But, um. Because I don't have the means to. But there is a number of magical shops near you, and even more far away. Hmm. I'll just uh, head into one of the nearest ones. Okay. Whatever one has a name that uh, really sings to me. It well, a dwarf. the one that was visited last time yes. is the nearest one. And okay. you recall Orson had a number of magical items that were far outside of your pocketbook. Mm -hmm. It seemed like he was the sort of guy who dealt with high quality yeah. magical artifacts. Yeah. Uh, magic shop would have scrolls, right? Like protection and all that shit. They could. They might not. Hmm. Yes, they do typically. Deal with sort of... Yeah, I'll go. I'll uh, go into Orson's shop, I guess, and just okay. to see if he's got any scrolls. Welcomes you in. You remember, this is the guy. He's a black robed wizard with long black hair. Mm -hmm. And he kind of looks menacing. Um, he says, Hmm. Uh, Welcome. What is it you desire? Ah, hello once again, Orson. Ah, uh, we met. Once upon a time, about a month ago. Hmm. In my most charismatic way. My plus one charisma. If you say so. Um, I'm just curious if you got any uh, scrolls that I might be able to purchase. Hmm. 
I didn't take magic. Right? I mean, I can use the scroll, right? He shrugs. Yeah. You can. Uh, have you got uh, any scrolls of protection? By chance? No, I don't have a scroll of protection. Mm. I do have a. Oh. I'm not sure if you're interested. What kind of scrolls are you looking for, Zach? Uh, I was looking for uh, mostly just a scroll of protection. Mm -hmm. So such a thing is hard to come by. Indeed, they are. A scroll of protection. So I have heard. Meh, most of the scrolls you will find in my shop and everywhere else will be of less rare quality, simply because mm. it requires a wizard who is capable of casting a spell to then lay it into parchment. Mm -hmm. So, well, the more well. common spell, the easier to find. Scroll of protection. I have rarely seen such a thing. It's a rare quality scroll. Rarely has he seen it. Fuck. I'm trying to fix Micah's fuck ups, okay? <laughs> I accidentally sold one and it's probably worth like 10,000 or something. It's worth a lot. Yeah. Screw you, Malachi. Freaking liar. Screw you, Var, for selling it. I, so I, I, I ask, I ask, uh... I mean, you know he's in it to make a profit for himself. I ask, so I go, so I'm, uh, I ask the guy when I'm with Burger, I'm like... <laughs> you're not with him, you're getting, you're fitted, you're getting fitted right now, dog. Yep, you're... Did, yep. Now, did you ask how much, wait, Burger, did you ask how much it cost? That never happened. What? We didn't have that conversation yet. He doesn't have one. Okay, well, I have to... Shoot. What other scrolls might you have, Orson, of uh, this mm. lower... Just just name off a few. I uh, I don't know what I might be interested in, you know? I'm, I'll tell you something. I don't use scrolls often. If you're the type Actually, of guy, never. and you look like the type of guy, it gives you a look who likes to... Fight up close and personal. Then perhaps a scroll of, and he pulls out heat metal, would pique your interest. Hmm. Does sound interesting. Do you understand the implications? Are, do scrolls, I, have a, are I have a friend who uh, wears a lot of metal. Indeed. Perhaps I could. He gives uh, you. He gives you a wicked smile. I also Men have... who wear lots of metal hate the spell. Men who wear... Can you imagine why? Knights hate him. Exactly, thank you for giving that. They hate him! What he does next will amaze you. See how this guy made 45 grand in an hour and it shows like a dude robbing a bank. <laughs> banks! Banks hate him! <laughs> This man shows the secret. <laughs> um, how much might something like this uh, heat metal go for? What might what, what you might you charge mistake. for something such as this? I am a fair a lot of money. Yeah. I'm not the richest of uh, people in this town, so mm -hmm. that is why I'm inquiring. So well. Many. So many inquiries. I normally deal in expensive magical artifacts, but potions of heat metal are not too difficult to come by. Uh, well, as I'm sure you understand, I would love a. Oh, sorry, it's not a potion, it's a scroll. Yeah, I don't know what yeah, I are scrolls one-time uses only, Jean? What was that? Are scrolls one-time uses? Yes, yeah. they are. Oh. As, as I'm sure you would understand, I 
very interested in being able to purchase a uh, magical weapon, but uh, mm -hmm. I most likely don't have the means to afford such a yes. weapon at this time. So, of course, they are the most expensive magical artifacts. Mm -hmm. But we do what we can with what we have, and spell scrolls are an easy way to get a one-up on your opponent. Now, I've heard about this mythical bag of holding. You have? No. That's just... Now, wouldn't wait? Wouldn't Wasteland have noticed the bag on Gaius? Well, he wasn't able to cast detect magic or anything, because what's her face? Well, wouldn't yep. Wasteland like recognize? What? what do, 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 do no, absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not. They all each, look each bag looks. Yeah, I'm not. I'm okay. going to explain it to you, but all magical artifacts are created, and thus look unique. Okay. Um, but yes, he tells you a potion of heat metal will run you 200 gold. Scroll, scroll. Yes, the scroll. I, I understand it's a scroll, don't worry. You can say potion every time. It's, I, no, it's, I think it's what you're saying. Scroll of heat metal. 200 gold, you say? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That is... Not a bad price, I don't think. I think that is very reasonable. Indeed. The, if you were to come in contact with a metal man, you could ruin his day. Out of game, you can look up the heat metal spell if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you cast the scroll and the target in the armor takes 2d8 fire damage every single round until they get out of their armor. Oh, God. Because it's, it cooks them alive. And at six, at six seconds a round? Yep. Dude. It's like, it's like boiling alive. It's yeah, like, you would die alive. in the armor. There's no way... That's like, exactly what happens. There's no way a knight could ever get out of their armor fast enough to not die. If they're high enough level, they could. Yeah, if they're like level 20. You got like they're high enough level health. and they have health. Because if you... To doff yeah. armor... Takes, it's like cut in half for each person. Oh, okay. Them. Okay. So if they had a lot of help, they could feasibly get out of it in time. But on the battlefield, yeah, they're pretty much fun. <laughs> yeah. That's why spell scrolls are pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps I'll, uh, I'll... And Bahari sells all of her spell scrolls, and some of those were really good. Yeah. Well... I think you got yourself a deal there, Orson. He, he basically explains to you what I just told you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how poor it is. Excellent. It's basically like the fucking, that Roman torture device, the bowl thing, where they heat up the... Yeah. Brazen bowl? Yeah, the brazen bowl. <laughs> Not quite, but... Cool. To get so to heat up the check. fucking metal and then just like... Uh, they leave them in there for like hours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't heat, it's not as hot, I'm sure, but like, still. So. Alright, I will subtract 200 gold. This is hot enough to do 2d8 fire damage to every 6 seconds. I think that's hot enough. That's, that's pretty fucking hot. When you have maybe 6 HP for yourself. Human, yeah, level 0 humans have a maximum of 8 HP. So, 2d6 means pretty much, Micah, you're dead, round 1. Unless it rolls two ones, but um, yeah, so you could two d six damage would kill you outright. Two d six. Yeah. I'm I saying I'm saying Micah in real life. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean my eight HP doesn't. Yeah. You could kill me. You could potentially have it more than eight HP if you lift enough, but. Like, The Rock might have nine. Yeah, like, he probably has ten to twelve or something, because he's a big fucking beast of a man. <laughs> I'm just saying, average civilians. The rest civilian. of us have, like, four or five. Yeah, average civilians, like, I have a maximum of eight HP. Yeah. Um, 
minutes. Cool. And so, uh, I will be off. Move that 200 gold and add your potion or your scroll yes. of yes. heat metal. Yes. It's because I'm looking at potions. So. Yeah. So, um, Sweet. Let's try to get to. Let's try to get to. Uh, you know who by then. How much gold do you have left? Uh, I have five hundred and seventy-four gold. Oh, you're doing. You're doing. Yeah, and then I've got like the twenty-five plat, and still have seventeen hundred and fifty-three copper or er, uh, silver coins in my fucking bags. Mhm. Mm <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, uh, Desmond also goes shopping. Oh, it sounds really lame. Uh, um, he comes back with an item as well. Oh, I uh, ask. I guess. I guess we're meeting up at an inn. I'm assuming, anyways. Uh, we're, we're gonna stay. Um, and uh, I ask Desmond what he's done all day. Um. Today. Gold was meant for spending. Got me this new suit of armor. That's just what I do. A whole new suit of armor, huh? What did he get? Well, I wouldn't say new. What is it? Is it like? What does it look like? Well, you it um, guard it's actually it's actually technically a downgrade if you know like metallurgy and blacksmithing. But what did he? What does he have on? You guys, would you? The dwarf would probably. Have I mean, some idea. perhaps. I don't have like I don't have a skill like that. I've got like stone cunning, but like I don't have. Like, yeah, but dwarves dwarves are yeah. pretty connected to like stone yeah. working and, and metal working and yeah. stuff like that. I don't. Well, think I, I have I'm, the I'm asking him what he has I'm, on. Like what? I know. No, I'm gonna let you roll to to know a few things about yeah. what his, uh, me or him. It would either be like a history check based on like history, the, like dwarven. Mm -hmm. Metallurgy or would I roll or roll, no? I'll just I roll, roll history. No. Okay. Should I? Uh, or no? Um. Yeah. Sure. You can. You want to. No, I'm I'm too dumb for that. Apparently, I rolled a two. Uh, Sixteen. I hurt myself trying to look at what his arm. Yeah, sixteen. You know, yeah. Ivar, you know that. Uh, so why is this small? You know that half plate, which is what he's wearing, is a less viable for frontline fight than a split is. Half plate, huh? I see him. Don't go laughing. It's I didn't. No, I was just saying. Half plate. I'm just wondering, like half plate, like. It's um. It's actually technically half plate is the uh, the ultimate. Form of medium arm, so he went heavy arm. Yeah, I'm not knocking uh, that your armor. I'm just saying, wondering. It's that, but it actually so. He, he but he can you. move better. And yep, so it's a dex. It's yeah. a dex scaled item, so it's actually the same armor class. Nice. Based on his own dex. Um, so he says, "Yeah, well, it's lighter weight. I can move quicker. Shouldn't affect my performance. And on top of it." It's reinforced with adamantite. He shows you. Look at this shit. What I know what that is, like. Um, another, another, yeah, another history check or something. It's an intelligence check to know kind of about adamantite. Wow, another two. Uh, dude, I just. How the fuck do you not what? know? You've Why heard is... about adamantite as a dwarf, no matter. I what. rolled a sixteen. Oh yeah, I rolled twenty. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Far, you've heard, you know, adamantite is the strongest uh, form of metalworking possible. Um, oh. so John, can I, can I, I mean, in, like, in my I'm, character's I'm lore, like, I crafted, I like, my two hand axes, yeah. I crafted yeah. them. Yeah. Like, can I have Are some sort of... Adamantite? No. I mean, unless, unless you're willing to just give that to me. But I never um, specified what they were made out of. I think you would have to have some sort of rich connection to an adamantite vein or something. You know, like if your family... Mm. If you yeah. have a history of, like, yeah, maybe, I mean, but... Sure, I'm not gonna... No. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna make you hit harder. It will just yeah. look pretty good. Yeah. 
Um, but I no, I mean, uh, but I don't know. I just think it's stupid that I wouldn't know something about that. I do too. Or, I do too. Having because... like having crafted my own weapons, like you'd think I'd know something about metalworking at least. That to a point where I'm not gonna a... be like, Adamantite, what's that? No, I I'm ruling you know what it is. Yeah. I just, um, I'm I'm questioning whether you understand the properties that it would have on this oh, armor. Okay. Okay. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just that like a two is like. Uh, I, I'm just like, saying. I don't know how like a character on like, this. Yeah. I, yeah, no, it, because it doesn't make sense that you don't know. So I'm saying mm -hmm. you know uh, probably a great deal about adamantite, but you mm -hmm. don't know how it would affect the properties of this armor. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he, he tells you effectively that, yeah, um, uh, no matter how hard I hit, or I get hit, uh, this sucker will protect me. Yep. He nice. cannot be crit anymore. Can't be crit anymore while lucky. It's fucking a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. Crits are no... Are now regular. Dude, lucky? That's fucking weird. I wish I wore armor. Oh boy. You can wear armor. How much did he spend on that out of game? Out of character? Um, it's actually only uncommon rarity, so not that much. It was like 500 gold. Uncommon uh, rarity. Yeah, it's not like the tables for some uncommon armor. rarity are not that expensive. Mm. Yep. All right. Well, well I, I am. Buy the book. Buy the book. All right. I uh, I say well. We that's probably... actually mm. just out of game. So you think I'm not? I'm not like being partial, doesn't? That's the maximum it could cost. Mm. Nice. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I was I'm surprised. I know, and I felt like it was too cheap too. I didn't understand why the book was saying it's so cheap. I was like, because regular sprint split or half plate is like 750. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So I made yeah. it as expensive as possible. Well, I'm sure Desmond's like freaking funny money. So, uh, yeah, I say, well, we should probably start heading out. Cool. Yeah, I suppose. Nelson, so. Bari, you want to do? Potions, magic items you want to look for? I, uh, uh after, I mean, after. Oh, go, I guess go ahead. Before well, we I mean, head out, there's something I'm else. I'm trying to think if if, Mort, if Malachi would sell me back those weapons for just a straight one on trade. Actually, not one one, but like if I said you can, because I don't think Logan mentioned all the other scrolls. He mentioned just the just the scroll of protection and the lantern. I mean, you know, there's no way that he could possibly understand how many scrolls you had, right? Yeah. He just knows the specifics of the lantern, the two vials of dust. And and, uh, uh, you did yeah. mention scrolls, right? But you said the scroll he, of protection. Yeah, yeah. he knows about the scroll of protection. You okay. did mention the lantern. That was, that was the expensive one. Yeah. Yeah, I was like. Uh, uh, yeah. Orsic's trying to help. Orsic, Orsic is it. Yeah, Raceland appreciates uh, Orsic's not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yes, I just wanna, I just wanna head out to. Uh, oh, yeah. Um. I'm starting out to to silver. I wanna get to. Wrestling before the end of our session. Desmond pulls you aside at some point, Bahari, and he's kind of frustrated with you a little bit. And he says. You can't go selling that shit without consulting the party. Was, he wasn't even here. He, wasn't he was there the with Raceland when you found out. Oh. You stuff. Yeah, because they are just about to teleport. I, I look at him like, listen, I was I was going to split it with you, but I didn't get the chance because uh, Orsic over here. I totally forgot about the... Uh, totally forgot about the thing we had with Raceland, but uh, I... Assumed that it fetched a pretty good profit, and that we could, that you wouldn't have cared. It was just some stupid magical trinkets. Mostly, that... I mostly don't, but the thing is, we might it have could to. Be, it could be useful. Well, it's looking like we might have to, might have to steal him back if he's not cooperative, because 
I got, I got 27, or I got 20, 200, and how, how much, how much, did you, I got 250. 2,700? 2,700 oh. is how much, well, how much platinum? It was 275. I'd say I got 270 platinum for the stuff I sold. Uh, so if we just Wait. factor out the factor out the all the other stuff, because he doesn't know about what? the other stuff. If we just get back the when I turn vial of dusts and uh, protection scroll. Mm. Honestly, totally forgot yeah. about this whole thing we give it back to him and I'm sorry I am sorry that I I I, I take full responsibility as a blunder we're gonna solve it it's just you gotta you gotta consult the party on these things I thought we we were agreed that we were gonna we're gonna sell these but I I don't know it's I understand it's well we'll we will figure it out but once it's once it's done, any leftover money we can split up. Should have at least a little bit of money. He seems yeah, he seems satisfied for now. Um, and you guys are gonna head out. From yeah. which well, maybe tomorrow, because I'm assuming Bahari spends most of the day with the day. ranger. You guys yeah. are out shopping, hanging out, browsing yep. the town. Yeah, we're gonna we'll head out tomorrow. At some okay. point, I uh, show um, Desmond my. Uh, my scroll and say, you better watch out, Desmond. Boy, you'll boil you alive inside that armor. <laughs> He's if you're not careful. You. Pretty sure you can take off half plate really quickly. So. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, it is, uh, it's medium, right? So. I mean, yeah, it's medium armor, exactly. So. Yeah. So, yeah, apparently one minute. Yeah. It could still kill me. I mean, that's still that's still ten rounds of combat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you roll good, he's gonna die. You roll bad, and he's gonna live. Yeah. I mean, um, it's only two d six. You could roll like two and a one, two and a one, yeah, one and a three. It's not that much. Yeah. Easy, easy, he lives. Um, but yeah. So, so we and, and then and then and then he fucking second wins and gets back to four. Yeah, and then he freaking kills you. Yeah. Uh, I'm, well, just, uh, I'm just making short shirt to uh, silver hud. What was silver, that? Silver hud. You're oh, just nothing. gonna. You're what? I said. Oh, nothing I was saying. So are we gonna start the. Yeah. Short to silver hud? Yep. Um, is there anything you guys want to do? Anything at all? Nah. On the track? Yeah. No. On the journey. Conversations, things you want to do in the towns, in Merkdale or Silverwood? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay. Wasn't so uh, wasn't it Silverwood the one with the racist innkeepers? That's what I the, the racist establishment, or is that Merkdale? I don't that, know. That I one was a really high end establishment where you tried to get yeah. into. Was it Merkdale? Yeah, I think it was Silverwood. Yeah, that sounds shitty. Yeah, whatever. I just yeah, well yeah. Sorry, just forget about it. Um. Okay. So it's uh pertinent of me to let you know your HP is still minus twelve. Mhm. <laughs> Thanks, Violet. Hashtag things violet. Let's make it trendy, hashtag, guys. Hashtag your new normal. Mm. Minus twelve. Uh, also, Micah's AC is ten. Yep. Right now. Minus and twelve HP, and this only has like thirty-two HP. Hey, yep. yep. Good thing I have some healing potions. Oh, you can give her one now. <laughs> oh, really? I thought it was her max health. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving her one. <laughs> I'm just saying what she looks like. Just at, one, at one point, you know what? I guess I am gonna. My my character, like, I wake up and I feel crappy. And I, I'll the try. Second, the second of Rhyme Frost in the morning. Yes. Where are we? You're in the town still. I guess I, I rummage through and I, I look at a 
the bottle, I guess I come across the bottle of healing, or the potion of healing, and I'm like, screw it, like, I don't, I, I, Is it I a regular healing some, potion? Yeah, just a straight up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Healing potion. It's, uh, 2d4 plus 4? Or 2d4 plus 2, rather, I think. So, yeah, it's the common, it's 2d4 plus 2. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So remove. It was a regular healing potion. Yeah. Yeah. So just remove one of those from your character sheet, please. Um, and you feel like shit. <laughs> like minus twelve HP shit. Okay. So nothing happens. Nope. All right. I mean, it it tastes good and it feels good, but. Uh, a little bit afterwards, you still feel kind of crappy. Pot of healing. I'm just kidding. Yep. Alright, well. Cool. Alright, well, I guess we set out. We're going to set out. Yeah. Cool. Alright. It's uh, the one above Superior is Supreme, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. But, I mean, that'd be like max health. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Like 400 gold. Damn. For a single potion. But that jump, though, dude. Look at that jump. Yeah. Guaranteed 24 HP. Guaranteed 30. Ow. Okay. Wait. Sorry, yeah. 30. Right. Which isn't that great when you're like level 50. Yeah, when you're at the level where it, you're oh, gonna be using And when things are hitting shit. that much every round, not that great. Uh, and speaking of that, I'm going to be nerfing uh, health potions in combat again. Because yeah. I, hate it. Yeah. I don't I don't like it. I'm I'm gonna accept the rules as written for attacks of opportunity. I won't let attacks of opportunity happen to you. But I'm going to okay. lump in using health potions as the use action. Yeah, use that action. that's yeah. And I think yeah. that is completely fair. Yep. I yep. think I think that not taking a whole action is really dumb. Yep. I agree. It feels it feels too broken to me, and I think I feel like once again it negates the purpose of a healer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Because mm -hmm. that's that's the strength of a healer, right? Is that you don't you can like have yeah. them behind you healing you, and you can keep attacking every round. Let's quit but picking up fucking pop... rogues and stuff, and let's find a cleric. <laughs> Solid logic right there. Let's go. Let's go. You know, one of these days we're just gonna go to a church and we're gonna try to hire somebody. <laughs> Micah, you you just start paying somebody thirty gold a month to heal us. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's enough dilly dallying. Let's get to yeah, yeah. Um, Don't dilly dally. The dilly dally's gonna get you. Do you got? How do you travel? Is it gonna be the same kind of thing, like as much as possible, or do you yeah. Yeah. travel to Merkdale and then stay there for the day? I mean, it, is it more? Is it less than a day's travel to Merkdale? It's more than a day's travel to Merkdale, and it's more than a day's travel to Silver. So I'm asking how you're traveling. I mean, Griffin. No. You oh. burned that we burned that bridge already. I know. I'm just saying, you know. Someday she'll burn your bridge. <laughs> Someday maybe I'll burn With her bridge. breath weapon. I, I mean, I'd let her burn my bridge. Oh my God. Maybe You'll maybe I'll it. burn her bridge. Maybe she'll get killed by me and I'll um, become the guardian. Uh, yeah, I want you I to mean, try. I, I mean, really do. Go. Go. <laughs> I'm not about to get one shot by a dragon, sorry. Level oh. five. Fuck it. I'm going to kill a dragon. Not by a guardian specifically chosen um, by God. No, I'm exactly. I'm good pushing exhaustion and everything. Just get to Merkdale okay. and sleep it off, and then get to that's gonna be... and sleep it off. Okay. Oof. Um, it's gonna it... be eleven point five hours. Oh really? Do you want to do four exhaustion checks? On four. Oh my god. Ugh. Mm. I don't think oh. so. Maybe we'll sleep it off. We'll just sleep. You you don't want to know what four fatigue looks like. <laughs> 
can't it's stay like on your horse, start hours. taking damage. What are... Yeah, what, I don't know. Where are the rules on fatigue? So we can keep moving, but... Oh, they're in the no, damage. No, 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 no. It's place. place. Uh, in the very back. Tem by temporary hit points and all that? Under... Where is it? Under conditions. Conditions, page 290. So, level 4 exhaustion. Hit point maximum is half. 5 is speed reduced to 0. You can no longer move. You just collapse, and 6 you die. You just die. Hmm? Level two exhaustion is bad enough. I mean, it's yeah. like yeah, speed have. Yeah. All right. It's anyways, like um, yeah, let's just go sleep. Go as far as we can. Sleep. Go as far as we can. It'll probably cool. be three day travel then, right? Uh, a day and a half and a day and a half. Let's see. What is that? Trying to make sure. So, it's going to take you about three days to travel to get to Silver. So, 2.75. I'm fine just going for eight hours, stopping, going for eight That's hours. That's exactly stopping, what I'm talking I'm saying, I'm calculating yep. that in. You travel eight hours a day, it will take you 2.75 days to yeah, get to Silverwood. Right. Cool. So, you get to Silverwood. 2.75. I'll show you. Just skipping. go. Show you just I mean, because I'm, so, I'm yeah, we're not doing too much, yeah. so uh, nothing really ha interesting happens. Except for travelers along the road, and it continues to snow lightly. All right, cold. so that is the. All so right. we arrive on the fourth. <laughs> no. It's three days of travel. We left on the second though, with a full That's day of travel on the second. Oh, you left in the morning of the second? So I'm assuming, right? Okay. Because at first we yeah. went shopping, and then the second we left. Yeah, okay. Cool. I have a whole day travel. So we're just a whole sure. day travel. So it's, arrive. Right. So it's like the afternoon of the fourth. Yeah, late afternoon on the fourth. Yep. Okay. Um, and you do what? We head to the house of the man. Okay. We had the portal. It's, yeah. um,. It's dark by the time you get there. Uh, it takes a while to get to remember where it was, and you eventually get there. Um, and there's a light um, in the small, it's a small little cabin of a house. Yeah. I knock, I knock. Um, and you hear a shook as he, you know. The isolates uh, of the door open up, and he kind of looks to see who's at the door. I kind of look at him like, uh, I'd like to also say that uh, I took off my the black, uh, like as I entered the town, I, I, I took off my black tabard, my black guard tabard, and I, uh, I say, uh, I look at him and say, <sighs> I look back to like around, and I say, we have business with. Um, he looks at your tab. You have it on. No, I show. I show him. I kind of like show him the the Asphodian tabard. He says nothing. Closes the slider and opens the door. Yeah. Uh, opens the door. It's yeah, a okay. Door. We walk in. Everyone walks in. Everybody walks in. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he, does he remember you? Yeah. I mean, he does. It's an elf, a human, and a dwarf. But I still and, roll checks. Yep. Yeah. Just saying, it should be an easy check. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. but he rolled high. 
Um, so we make our way down to the cellar if he has no questions. He looks over the party. Mm, all of you? Yeah. Yes. I puff my chest out when, I, when he looks at me. Like Posture. He snorts. <laughs> all right. You know the drill. And he opens the door and um, he, he lights a torch, walks you down the cellar. And sure enough, there's the purple shimmering portal. Mm. Uh, I, uh, I, I let Orsa go first. I'm he doesn't. Let, he doesn't let Orsic go first. Oh, okay. Oh, what is he? He says, oh. "No, no, no, no. It would be a terrible shame if it were to murder the dwarf in oh, yes, suspicion. I see. <laughs> if a dwarf just shows up, I go. I guess I'll go. Yeah, well, the dwarf with two battle axes. I am there. <laughs> like, oh. I guess I go first. I mean, they'd be more apt to kill me. Mm. Actually, I guess I'm a tavern. Yeah. So you go first. Um, do you go next, Dorsic? Yeah. Cool. They go through. Uh, Desmond. There's a gold that around. Kind of. What was that? No, I'm talking about there. Desmond kind of. Gives Violet a look and she looks nervous. And he says, It'll be fine, just like the last one. Go on through, I'll follow you. And she nervously walks through the portal and he follows her. You guys all are in the. Um, it's a familiar enough portal room. You've been through here a few times. Yeah. Huh? And yeah, it's. The one in Asphodel, Acheron, okay. capital city. Um, a sorcerer approaches you, Bahari, as usual. A number of them actually do. It's a pretty well-guarded room. Mm -hmm. And he says, what business? We have been, the, the queen has requested an audience. That we have uh, requested our presence. Kind of sniffs the air. Hmm. Such strange bedfellows she has these days. But who am I to question great and powerful? Leader? I just, I just laugh. You don't speak Elvish. Oh God. <laughs> he laughed oh, when I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, boys! Woo! Got him! It's all right. That's gonna happen to the elves all You're the time. You literally don't know, like. God, I. <laughs> Why can't this be a dwarven campaign? <laughs> so wow. I can understand everything. <laughs> Desmond always, Desmond always translates for you eventually. Yeah, but then I laugh like, then I laugh like two minutes later after they actually say the thing, and they're wondering why the but, fuck I'm laughing. He doesn't, ex he doesn't do it that that good of a job, you know. When they say like, "What business have you?" He says like, "They want to know what the fuck we want." Yeah. Then he's like, "I, th think we're consorts or something." Yeah, like he he understands pretty much what they're saying, but he doesn't translate it to you that well. Yeah. He just kind of, he's lazy. He's just like, eh, they don't trust us. Yeah. And sometimes when he does that, the elves that also understand common give him a look. Like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Very well. <sighs> I will call an escort. And he escorts you into a different room. And 20 minutes later, you get an armed retinue. 
to bring me to Reshkigal. What does this city look like? What? What does this city look like? Like, yeah. So, is it like a grand, like mm -hmm. paved roads and? Yeah. So, it's difficult to explain. Think like Gothic Elven architecture. You know, like grand, grand. That's state. what I was getting. I was kind of getting that feeling. You know, like very like built up. Yeah. Yes, and yes. and a lot of a lot of free floating magical structures. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a high magic city. So should I, so more like, like kind of like an Anne Orlando, but darker? Yeah, a lot like that, but very Gothic in architecture. Yeah. Um, everything is grand and big and ridiculous. Um, and you, it's not uncommon to see wyverns in the sky. Yeah. There is a very large, uh, Wyvern Rider force in Acheron. Mm. And yeah. So they lead you. I mean, this is a very nice portion of the city, you know what I mean? Um, and you're led through. Eventually, it takes like, I think, half an hour um, through large winding streets. Uh, and it's built actually this is a you've never been through a lot of the city but it seems like this is a second tier of the city like a higher tier than some mm. well i mean i've been through here before when i came here but you, yeah. you 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 suspect that because um you remember there's a large bridge like a span from one section to another mm. and are there is it like three spans like lower middle higher no, it's just there's there's like just this one when you're approaching um, a Resh Kegel's uh, castle or temple, whatever you want to call it. Right. Uh, it's just one very large magical span, like a large bridge. And as you're crossing it, you know, you can look down below and it seems like this is a lot higher than you thought. But yeah, you can see an, another portion of the city down below. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep going until we get to where we need to go. I'm a little nervous. Again, like usual. The oh, bar. Nice. Oh, yeah. Always that, even even though there's always that unnervingness, like, mm -hmm. I'm in, like, Akron, like, arch enemies of each other. Like, no boy, no. <laughs> Yeah. So you cross the span, which is also kind of unnerving. You're pretty high up, and the wind gets, it picks up up here. And it's kind of cold and chilly and snowy. And so there's that on top of your nervousness. But you push forward, and eventually you get to the large castle. Mm. And the guards look at you. The guards that are on, the, like her honor guard, they're at the door. Mm. What? They're just I looking at me? I, I, yeah, gotta, I mean, I have my tabard on. And they're, they're still, like, like, looking at me? Mm -hmm. I put my oh. hands on my hips, puff out my chest, and, like, big grin show my teeth the retinue of people who escorted you here leave and there's just two honored guards outside the door i uh they look I, pretty intimidating yeah i mean i'm not i'm i'm trying to act not intimidated but i'm like you know i'm like <clears throat> i have uh i've been requested to come and speak with the queen Uh, if you need to send word to get confirmation, it's my name is Vahari. And this is one of course, them goes in, and the other one's just looking at you. A um, couple minutes later, I'm assuming they're giving me a bad look because I'm. Yeah, I'm, uh, you can't really tell because they have these large, 
face. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I can. There's definitely the, the, the feeling of like the animosity of South Korea and North Korea. Yeah, you're getting that vibe for sure. I don't Absolutely. know. Is anyone else, I don't know if anyone else is picking up on it, but I am like picking up on what. Oh, oh, I'm just saying. I don't think. I don't know if anyone else picks up on. I like, feel that. animosity 100% of the time I'm around you, Micah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a dwarf, so he kind of always feels that way. And... My life is basically the band animosity. Oh, great. You're you're uh, I'm uh, you're my friend, but it's like a kind of like a. But I don't feel yeah. respected yeah, because you're kind of an <laughs> asshole. I don't yeah, think anyone feels respected from Bahari, really. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. She's kind of got this, like, arrogant, noble thing going on, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'm a noble. Look yeah. at me. And the others are like, give me a break. So, a couple minutes later, he opens these large doors. Um, there's, there's four of them. No, there's two large doors. And he opens one of them. And just kind of leaves it open for you. I head in. Into her large chamber. She has a very large chamber indeed. Large chamber. <laughs> large chamber. The belly of the beast. <clears throat> okay, so my next character's name is gonna be, uh, just kidding. <laughs> What is your, uh, I can't really hear, I didn't know what you just said, you like blanked out. What did you ask, John? I thought you were going to be Wilfred Fizzlebang. I know. <laughs> Wilfred Fizzlebang. No, uh, anyway, I, uh, I guess, what, approach? Guys, it's just, guys, and... Yeah, I'm just trying to... Go ahead. You guys approach. Mm -hmm. Approach to wherever, you know, right here. Your mic kind of cuts out sometimes. Yeah, yeah. kind of like. Really? I've been doing it all time. Yeah, like it's kind of it's a like like it kind of fades in and out. Like it's weird. I'm gonna start doing that. It's just happening. I've been doing it basically the whole time. I mean, it's not unbearable. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's just like it's like a little bit like he'll just start talking. Yeah. Or is it like not? It's like when it's like when someone else talks. Oh. Okay. Well, let me know if it's so bad you can't understand me because I don't want you yeah. to miss. Yeah. I, I mean, I do. I, I tell you when I don't. It's hear what it's saying. only an issue when Mike tries to talk over you. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we stand here. Yeah. So. Um. The guards on either side of yeah, her honor guard, essentially, they motion you forward. Me? Specifically, or everyone? Into the circle. Nope, the party. They do this every time. <laughs> they want you in the, the magical circle. Yep. Huh? Uh, boy. Is Violet okay? She looks very scared. That's... I kind of... I, I guess I'm trying to calm her, like... Like, I'll, I'll look at her and I'll nod and smile and, like, pat her on the back. Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm, to, I'm a false sense of security that I don't even have security. I'm just trying to make her feel... I, I freaking, myself, don't even feel safe. Right. I hate this place. Creepy. Shh. Shut up. So, what's up? I say, yo, his, uh, what's up, dog? 
<laughs> Yo, what's up, dog? All right. Sorry. Uh, sorry. All right, here we go. Serious. Um. Okay. So she seems to take her time and eventually addresses you. Glad for you to come back so soon. What was that? Sorry, I'm trying to remember. What was the last thing she had you guys do? We went to... We go back uh, and rails on tour. To, yeah, we went back to Alicia. Or wait, what, where did we go again? We went to, uh, she told you to go to Alicia. To and... Oh yeah, we we'll go to Raceland and tell him to come to her. Mm -hmm. And we did mm -hmm. so. And then he told us that she wanted us to 